cats on three. One, two, three, cats! Let's go! Just to be able to step on that mat with my teammates is, uh, that means the world to me. You can't do this! Believe it! This is anybody's moment to shine. Why not yours? I'm feeling to like complete confidence in him. It already seems like we've overcome so much that at this point, nothing else could throw us off like our groove right now. I feel like we're ready. I feel like we're a new team, so most of us don't know what it's like to go into it. The last few weeks we've really come together and it's a really good team. We're really talented and I'm so excited to go out on that bad shell and compete for that national title with them. Everyone just comes together as a family and I can feel the love on the map when I'm on that map. Every stunt I've done is leading up to this point and everything I've, you know, every tumbling pass, every stunt I've thrown, every every weight I've lifted, you know, even like back in high school and I didn't even think about you. You know, all those things have helped me prepare for this moment. After reviewing Bonneville and coming back, the one thing I think that's really lacking is believing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Believing that this, this can be yours, believing that you can actually, you can do this. It's just exhausting. Uh, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. Cheer is a hard sport, so you never really know what's going to happen. You know, never know if you're going to fall or if you're going to get hurt. It's grueling. The sport's grueling. When you think you can't, you got to do something else. Our coach just pushes us beyond our limits. still that one hit, hint of doubt that still just lingers over your body and it, it's hard because when doubt settles in, you keep it that way. Practice is really hard. Um, it's the hardest thing I've ever done, especially college cheerleading. It's, it's very rough. I work every single day, even when we're not at practice, to perfect my skills. Um, and I feel confident in everyone else around me. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Jump, Ryan. Jump, Ryan. It's that push that is the hardest. Cheers my life at this moment in time, believe it or not. I didn't ever thought it would be to this point where I would be a, basically a full-time cheerleader. I wake up, I go to class, right after class I go to practice, after practice I go to work, and then at night I'm stunning. I get really frustrated when stunts don't hit because I'm a perfectionist and I want things to hit perfectly. I want things to hit the way that I know they can. And so when I'm injured or when someone else is injured and things aren't going right, it really frustrates me. I know that we've done it before and we can hit a perfect routine. I know that it can happen. It's just everyone needs to be on point at the same time. 
Sometimes things fall and sometimes other stuff happens. That's a given for cheer. There's always that that possibility that something could fall. And so practices are the time that you prove yourself. It's hard. Um, I mean, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's not a good feeling. Um, especially, I mean, practice, you know, things don't go right. That's, that's how practice is. You're there to make the things right. You're there to perfect them. It was really hard as a captain to start leadership because people always had other leaders in front of me. But as the year goes on, they're giving me more and more respect, which is really nice. I think they were doing really well. We've had some rough patches, um, but we've like really pulled together, especially at the Jazz game. It was just like, it was just a really, I feel like, proud moment for all of us because we just pulled together. We were able to hit things and just be proud of ourselves. Honestly, it's very hard and I mean, this is my fifth year cheering and every every year it's emotionally draining. It takes a certain type of person and not everyone's meant for it. You get what you put into it, you know, you've given the, you put in the hard work, you put in the, the blood, sweat and tears and uh, in the end, you you know, it'll pay off. Your mind will give up long before your body will. Your body will ache, but your mind keeps on going. I want to say thank you to everyone that has, has made me who I am today. I honestly would not be the person I am today without my teammates. I feel like, honestly, we kind of had a rough start at becoming close, but I feel like we are so close right now. I feel it's feel like it's getting better every practice, and so each each day my confidence in this team is is in, increasing tenfold. I think that we've come a long way. Uh, at the beginning of the summer, we, we weren't really sure about how we would uh, mesh. Uh, it's such a young team. We had some struggles at the beginning of the year, um, but the last couple, two, three months. Even weeks from now, like, we've really come together as a team. I think we had a rough start, but after, after a couple performances, I think we really came together as a team. We, we bring people from all over. You know, we've got punk rockers from Wyoming and beach bums from, from California and I'm from Vegas, that so we've got people from all kinds of different walks of life that honestly would never, we would never be friends in any other situation. I've learned to be a better person, a better athlete, a better cheerleader because of you and this team. and. Summer, I mean, you seriously have done so much for this program, and I want to thank you for that. And I'm just appreciative that you guys let me come back. It means a lot to me. <laughs> I'm cared for, and I know that they're cared for, and it goes so much deeper than just practices and everything. This team is it's like a second home. I don't want it to be my last year, um, but I'm sad to be leaving. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that I'm leaving with a team that just came together so great and I'm excited to get to Daytona. I will never forget anymore and I will always remember them and love the things that they taught me and did for me.
pushing me to be better. And I don't know. They're all amazing individuals. <laughs>